Google Chrome has taken the lead as the most used web browser in the world. I know it's shocking. We all thought it would be Microsoft Edge, or at least Microsoft thought it would be Microsoft Edge, but that hasn't happened. Most people are unaware of some of the tricks that you can do with Google Chrome. So today I'll show you some tips and tricks that you can use with the Google Chrome web browser. This first little trick deals with the Omni bar, which is located at the top of the Chrome browser. As you probably know, you can put in a URL to go directly to a website. And you can search Google with search terms here. Of course, Google is the default search engine on Chrome, which can be changed in the settings if you prefer something else. But here's a little shortcut or trick for you. Let's say you want to search Bing. You would type in the URL for Bing, which is bing.com. Instead of hitting enter on your keyboard, hit the tab key and then put in your search term. And now you're searching Bing. If you want to search AOL, you do AOL.com. Hit the tab key. Enter your search term. And you're probably thinking to yourself, I, I didn't know AOL was still in business, but they still are. And this works with other websites as well. So let's say you want to search Paul, Paul McCartney on Wikipedia. Here's a little shortcut for that. Just type in en.wikipedia.org, hit the tab key, type in Paul McCartney, and then hit enter. And it takes you directly to the page on Wikipedia for Paul McCartney. You can also do a YouTube search from here. So type in youtube.com, hit the tab key, and let's type in a search term, best streaming devices. There's several videos here from Austin Evans, Tech Gumbo, Android Authority, etc. But I kind of like this one here from Tech Gumbo. If you haven't done so already, I would go on there and subscribe. They have lots of really good tech videos. You can also do simple math from the Omnibar. So you just click into it, type in your math equation. So let's say 10 times 4 minus 6 plus 98 and you don't need to hit enter it'll just automatically show up right there it says it's 132 so that's some of the tricks on how to use the omnibar in Google Chrome this next tip involves dragging multiple tabs into a new window at the same time by holding down the control key or the command key if you're using a Mac as you click on them so click on your first tab, hold down the control or command key, and then select other tabs. Let go of the control or command key, and then just drag to a new window here. It's that simple. And this works out well if you use multiple monitors or if you want the windows to be side by side. And you can put them back by dragging them back in and then they're back in the same window. And now for a really quick one. Google Chrome makes it easy to view videos or photos in Google Chrome without having to open up a separate app. So you just take the file that's on your computer, drag it over to Google Chrome, hold it over a new tab that says plus copy, and then let go. Here's a convenience tip for you. If you have websites that you visit frequently, Google Chrome allows you to pin those sites to the browser. So just go to your site, right click in the tab bar here, click on pin tab. Now it's also taking up less space. And you can do this with every site that you visit frequently. And when you reopen the browser, those tabs will still be there. So I'll show you here, shut down the browser, reopen, and they're still here. And that's how you pin a site to Google Chrome. 
You can also do a Google search from a page that you're currently on by highlighting it. So first you want to highlight that phrase, then right click on it, and then click search Google. Or you can take that same phrase and drag it to a new tab and it'll also do a Google search that way too. You can see what you're allowing certain web pages to do by right clicking here with this eye with the circle around it. I'm currently on msn.com and it's allowing 94 cookies and you can set it up to block location on this site, uh, block your camera, microphone, flash, and you can set up certain rules when you visit certain sites. So this can come in handy. Now let's suppose you're on a web page that was running slowly and you wanted to figure out what was slowing it down. You could use Chrome's Task Manager. And to get there, click on the hamburger menu, far right hand corner. Go down to More Tools. Click on Task Manager. And let's say for example, Adobe Flash was slowing down the web page. Highlight it by clicking on it, and then click on End Process. And finally, to close this video out, I'm going to give you some more tab tips within Google Chrome. If you're ever on a website and it starts playing audio or music and you want to quiet it down or mute it, right click on that tab, click on Mute tab. If you want to unsilence it, right click on it, click Unmute tab. If you want to close out the other tabs that are currently open, right click, click on Close Other Tabs. To reopen them, right click, and then click on Reopen Close Tabs, and keep repeating the process till all the other tabs are reopened. And if you want to reload a page, right click. Click Reload. Let me know in the comments if you have a tip for your fellow Chrome users and if you would like for me to make another video with even more Chrome tips and tricks. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech videos from Tech Gumbo.